This is Twit. Let's talk about the Apple SIM. Apple rolled out but did not announce it at its event. A new SIM card called the Apple SIM. According to a statement buried at the bottom of one of its iPad web pages, the Apple SIM gives users the flexibility to choose from a variety of short-term carrier plans. In other words, a single SIM can be used on AT&T or Sprint, and the choice can be made by the user by simply selecting the carrier from a dialog box. So, uh, Chris Taylor, what did you think about this? This is uh, interesting in two counts. First of all, it's a really simple solution to a problem that people have, which is the inconvenience of swapping out cards. And secondly, they didn't even utter a peep about it at their announcement. That's, that's the other thing that's so strange. I mean, we, we all found this out, I think, within a few minutes of the, uh, of the Apple event ending. You know, it started lighting up the blogs. And we're all like, why, what, why did we just sit through, you know, half a keynote full of rehashed content? when this could have been a fascinating discussion about carriers and about the uh, about switching between carriers and the the inconvenience of it um you know why, why not if you've got the technology why not show it off why not talk about it so it, that was a very bizarre decision um but you know i'm pleased that they've done it i'm pleased that we're we are increasingly moving towards the day where it just doesn't matter um you know of course wi-fi calling is another aspect of this that, uh, you know, you just, it's the kind of thing you have to think about less. The, the famous Apple mantra is it just works. And, and I want it to just work. I don't want to have to think about carriers at all if I can manage it. Sure. Um, but the carriers do want you to think about that. Forbes' <laughs> Parmi Olson says the carrier objection to the idea is why Apple didn't mention it. Christina Warren, mm -hmm. do you agree with that? Do you think the carriers are kind of freaked out by this idea? Oh, absolutely. No, I was going to say there, there, there's a very simple reason why they didn't mention it and they buried it. And that's because they don't want to piss off their carrier partners. And and Apple, I mean, this is one of those things, you know, they can they go against the grain and they can piss off a lot of people. But when it comes down to it, they know not to go over the line and, and making a comment like, oh, it'll be so easy to switch to another carrier. I mean, John Legere, who uh, I love, I love him. He's my favorite CEO uh, from T-Mobile would probably be thrilled if they said something like that, because mm. you know he could he could play it up. But I think that that obviously Verizon, AT&T, Sprint would not not be. Um, and I also think that's probably why it doesn't work on, on Verizon. Um, I, I'm not sure if that's a technical challenge. Uh, technically, they could, um, you know, make it work just for the LTE side, uh, for, for, for the SIM side, um, but it wouldn't have the drop downs to CDMA. Um, but I guess, you know, uh, I guess that's what Sprint is doing. But I, I guess, you know, Verizon just, uh, you know, they want everybody to be in the Verizon bubble. I don't know. Yeah. The next web's Ben Woods points out that these kinds of multi-carrier SIMs have existed for years in markets like Pakistan and India, but they were really cumbersome to use. And, and Apple took the idea and made it simpler and convenient uh, compared to how it works in those countries. Um, now, Carissa, do you think that there's any part of Apple's approach to this that is patentable? Is this technology or is this just policy? I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll have to, you know, wait and see how, how it plays out. I think that, you know, with Apple, I think that their move is they will try, if it is patentable, then we will probably see them try to patent it because um, I kind of feel like that's, you know, sort of um, their MO on these things. Um, but, you know, there are, you know, there are a lot of other, um, as you just mentioned, uh, companies that are doing dual SIMs and doing a lot, especially globally, um, you know, using the same kind of technology. So it's definitely been done before, but I think that uh, Apple, if they can, Apple will try to patent it probably. Chris Taylor is the future boy on Twitter, not the f future boy, just future boy. You can follow him on Twitter at future boy. And Carissa <laughs> Bell is at Carissa B.E. on Twitter. And of course, both of them are at Mashable.com. Thank you both for joining us on Tech News today. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. It was a pleasure.